soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome, one and all. And our live game is Galatasaray against Rome. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begg. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. So it's away we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I think Edin Dzeko is the one to keep an eye on. His game is all about goals, although he does make other contributions, of course. But can he step it up to a ruthless level and be regarded as one of the very best? That's the question we might be asking later. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Roma have so far failed to win any of their three games this season. It is a trend that surely mustn't continue. Bruno Perez. So what now? Hoists it high. Timely intervention. The batty. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Royce. That's a good intervention. Things could have got far worse than that. Can he find a finish now? And a header! Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Perotti. Tries a through ball. It's come loose. Well read, he sorted that out. It's a loose ball. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Keeper goes long. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And the defence can get it clear. It's Bruno Perez. Plays a clever pass. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Look, he just has to read the situation quicker if he hopes to, to conquer that. Now the pass. Konopienka shoots! It's anyone's ball. Yep, it's a corner. To Rossi. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Marco Asensio, that is a terrific run. Royce, room for a shot. Can he score? Goal! Galatasaray! First blood drawn! Galatasaray are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. <laughs> Galatasaray take the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Strutman plays it out to the wing. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Now it's Ibrahimovic. Tries to dink it in. 
Konopienka. Ibrahimovic. Looks to play it back. Marco Asensio. Marco Asensio has a goal! Plays it forward. Loose ball, who's going to get there? It's a good run down the left-hand side. Iniesta. He'll try from distance. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Abate kicks it up from the goal kick. Abate. Bruno Perez. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Galatasaray having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Got away. Ibrahimovic decides to play. It's Marco Asensio! It's in! Two to the good! They have breathing space! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? Galatasaray, look as though they're about to make a change. So here he is, making his first appearance in new colours. Galatasaray, take a two-goal lead, and things shouldn't be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Nolas. Nagatomo did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. He's left his man. Miguel Veloso. That intervention was very necessary. Walcott. Has a pop! It just took too long getting forward. Abate simply took an age to make his mind up, Peter, when urgency was the, the single requirement. came in for a bit of flack after their previous result. Yeah, but he brought the criticism upon himself, but... Speculative strike. He's got away with one there. 
You lucky boy. You lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. And it's Strootman. Walcott. Roma are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. And this is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. Veloso! Perotti just brushed off the ball there. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Another piece of really good defending. Nicely controlled. But no less tries to get it forward quickly. Nagatomo. Lengalan battles to win it back. Saul. And he just whacks it away. And it's Jekko. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Ibrahimovic passes it through. Going for goal! And more, and more, and more! And they are pulling clear here! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Galatasaray take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Ibrahimovic, Belanda. Well played, he saw that coming. Belanda. Saul. Konopienka. Not the cross he had in mind. Konopienka, it's a good foot in there. And it's Veloso. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. Dzeko pushes it out wide. Konopienka. And there goes the final whistle. Galatasaray, a class apart, opponents torn apart, they are comprehensive winners. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim, and a very good afternoon to you.